Hello everyone, I am Super Dungeon Boy and this is a movie review. What movie, you ask? Uh, let's see. Which one are we on now? Did a couple other ones I reviewed. Give me a second. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Yes. Now, I don't have my notes handy with me. I left them. <clears throat> Anywho. But, I don't need a whole list of notes or whatever. I can just give you the highlights of this movie. No spoilers. Um, excuse me a second, I just had lunch. <clears throat> the This movie is extremely long. It's about three hours long. Um, I stopped clocking it about 160 some odd minutes. I, after it went past 150 50, 40, whatever, I was like, ah, it's, it's up there. <coughs> Excuse me. I had some chips and they went down the wrong way. Anyways, um, Leonardo DiCaprio's in this film, Jonah, Jonah Hill, um, Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey only plays about five minutes in the film. At the very beginning, he mentors or teaches Leonardo DiCaprio's character to become the thief of Wall Street, if you will. Now, Matthew McConaughey doesn't even have a really significant role um, and I don't even know what happens to his character they just they don't even tell you just like one minute the two of them are having a lunch <clears throat> they're introduced because Leonardo DiCaprio's a intern or whatever he is as a broker and Matthew McConaughey teaches him that you make the most money doing the shady deals and the shady deals are what's gonna make you in this town then Matthew McConaughey goes ahead and does blow in the restaurant. Um, this is in the 80s, mind you, so I guess, I don't know, rich people can do what they want back then? I don't know. <clears throat> so, and that brings up another point. I'm trying not to make this a long review. Um, drugs are used in the movie throughout the entire movie. Um, so it's white collar crime, tons of drug use from cocaine to pills to whatever else, you know, it's, but those are pretty much the main ones, pills and cocaine. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill, those are the two actors that are going to be throughout the movie. Um, I watched it last night. <clears throat> Mind you, I got there about, I don't know, 8-ish, and exact seating was like, I don't know, 8-15, 8-20. <laughs> It's like three hours long, and then of course not even including all the trailers and stuff at the beginning and all that. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I stayed up a little too late. <clears throat> so, you know, when you're getting out, you know, when you go there about 8 o'clock and you don't get out till midnight, close to, uh, that tells you how long it is. <sighs> something, something along those hours. Yeah. When I looked at my watch and it was past, you know, 11.15, I was like, oh, I've been here for a while. <laughs> Sorry for the coughing, folks. <coughs> I did three takes on this. I was coughing even worse on the other ones, if you believe that one. So this is my third take on this one. I'm trying to make it short. So, other than it being long, um, and the lack of Matthew McConaughey, um, which they really sold his name out there, like, big time when he's on the trailers and stuff. I mean, you thought he was in the film and stuff, like, that's just the way of the movie magic, folks. You think these characters are in there... I'm sorry, <laughs> characters. These actors are in these films for much longer than what they are, and they're not. Um, take somebody like uh, Robert De Niro. No, he's not in this film. Um, but just a character... I keep saying character. An actor like that, nowadays they start starring in like films, and they're only in there for like five to ten minutes. You're like, oh, well, they put their mood... You know, they put their... <clears throat> name out there and that's the reason why you watched it like I'm pretty sure a lot of ladies out there and Matthew McConaughey Matthew McConaughey fans alike you know would be a little upset to find out that their beloved actor is only in there for five to about eight minutes I'm serious then you don't know what happened to the, his character at all just whatever <clears throat> so Leonardo DiCaprio um, to give you just the basic rundown, it's just, it's like every other Wall Street corrupt, white-collar, con 
It's my dog, don't worry about him. Uh, con artist, kind of thingy, whatever you will. You know, they're, <clears throat> they're these brokers that are just screwing people out of their nest eggs. And eventually the, you know, feds get involved like every other movie. And, well, you know what happens. <clears throat> Pretty much the same thing. Gotta close my door. The noise outside. Yeah, I'm that lazy I use a stick to close the door. It's only like five feet. I could easily get up and go get it, but I'm, I'm that lazy. Um, pardon my laziness. So, <clears throat> Jonah Hill saves the day in this film. I'll just tell you right away what I would rate this film. If you are looking to kill three hours and you don't mind that it's a drama with just a little bit of dark comedy in there, like bizarre comedy or drug um, drug related comedy, but nothing funny and bubbly like stoner stuff, like dark and edgy, like cocaine, dark, you know, I don't know, just, you'll, you'll see it when you see it. <clears throat> um, that kind of humor. Very sarcastic, very dry, very kind of serious one minute. Like, you know, all laughs and <laughs> I'll kill you. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, whoa, kind of bipolar there. Um, that's essentially the comedy that is played in there. It, you'll, again, when you watch it, you'll get it, you'll see it. Um, anyways, so how to rate this. Um, with Without Jonah Hill in this movie, I would rate it a 5.5. Just average. Um, I don't know if I would highly recommend you go spend three hours to go watch it. <clears throat> if you do, I recommend um, having somebody that can exactly tell you the parts you're going to miss in the movie. Because if you're like me, you definitely are going to take a leak two hours into the movie. You can't hold anymore. You had tons of popcorn and soda. And you're like, I gotta go. Tell me what I missed. And then you go to the bathroom and come back. And if I was going to recommend a time to <laughs> relieve yourself in the movie or excuse yourself to go get more snacks or answer a text message or whatever it is you're going to do, I recommend... Well, you probably wouldn't even leave the theater. Come on, let's be real. You wouldn't leave the theater. you just look at your phone. But, um, but if you were going to excuse yourself, because um, face it, most people that have cell phones, uh, they look at their cell phone throughout the, any movie they watch. And you're probably clocking, you know, how long is like, damn, this fucking hour and a half in the movie, it's still not over yet? And I assure you, it's three hours long and some change. Um, I would recommend you probably leave, relieve yourself or do whatever you're doing in the middle of the movie. Um, snacks or otherwise. Probably about exactly an hour and a half into the movie. Because at that point, an hour and a half into the movie, all the interesting stuff pretty much is done with. Um, then it's just about, yeah, again, this is kind of a spoiler, so I'm sorry. Um, but again, it's like every other single white-collar crime movie there has ever been. Um, the feds start getting involved heavily, and they start tracking, you know, the main character, and the whereabouts, and wiretaps, and da -da 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 -da, and, you know, that's just what they do in, like, all the films. <clears throat> so, it, you know, that's your whole film. That's... Um, if Joan, like I said, if Jonah Hill wasn't in it with his, uh, little bit of comedy relief, the film would just take a five or five and a half on the scale. But with him in it, it's definitely a seven, uh, definitely a rent, um, at the dollar box or whatever else. But to go out and go see it and convince your family to go see it, definitely not a family movie. Unless your family doesn't uh, mind. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot to tell you. They dropped the f bomb. I I heard from one source, um, something like four hundred and fifty something times. So, excuse me. So that's quite a bit. So, be prepared for that. Tons of profanity, tons of drug usage throughout the movie. Like the whole movie might as well be a. They do more blow in that movie than the movie Blow <laughs> with Johnny Depp. Remember that movie? Um, they do more drugs in that in this movie than they do in that movie. Shit, they even do more drugs than in the movie Scarface. I'm not even kidding you. Seriously. Like, I, I'm trying really hard to 
think of a movie that does more drugs than this movie, and I can only think of one, which happens to be a Johnny Depp movie, uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. So, Fear and Loathing, for those that want to look it up. But is it Fear and Loathing, or just Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Pretty sure it's the other. <clears throat> so look that up. That's a great Johnny Depp film. Again, dark humor, but um, if you don't mind that kind of humor, you just want something different. Uh, that film, I recommend. That film with Johnny Depp, that's a funny film. This film has its moments of funniness because um, the characters get so high and so out of whack and you're kind of like, wow, what the? what is this guy doing? He's crawling, for God's sake. Get so fucked up, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's, that's where it's at. Um, I don't want this to go on any longer, so because it has Jonah Hill in it and because his... What is he doing? Because his acting is so superb, he takes all the elements that he's ever learned as an actor and puts them all into one film. I kid you not. A little bit of the serious stuff, just enough comedy stuff, and yeah, he, if it wasn't for him, I would rate the film a lot lower. But because he's in it, a 7 out of 10. Definite rental. I, it's up to you whether or not you want to go see it in the theater. So, good luck with that. And uh, definitely, you're going to want snacks. It's a long film.